What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today I am in Kaohsiung, Southern Taiwan. So Kaohsiung is a very big city, it is kind of what Taipei is to the north, to the south of Taiwan. So today we're here, it is the start of June, it is extremely hot here in Kaohsiung. So today's video is sort of going to be themed around cooling off here in Kaohsiung. So we're going to be taking you around the city, trying some of our favorite cool down snacks when the weather is extremely hot. So we're, we're heading out for breakfast now to a place to try some cold noodles. So let's go there right now. Okay, we've got our box of cold noodles. This is called Lang Mian, and we've come to a park here to try them out. And these look really, really good. I am starving. And check these out here. So, as you can see, there is the noodles on the bottom. These are cold, served with a little bit of shredded ham, uh, a little bit of shredded chicken, some Julian cucumbers, and also Julian carrots. And then served with a wedge of lime. So, I'm just going to squeeze that on first. And these just smell incredible. Perfect way to cool down on a hot summer's day. And then also, it's served with some sauce. So this sauce here in a bag. I'm not exactly sure what this sauce is, but let's open this up and we'll just completely douse these noodles. And now the final step is to mix these up. And I can smell that. It almost smells like a little bit peanutty, like peanut butter. Yeah, let's get this all mixed up. Get that sauce over top of all those noodles and those veggies and meat. And let's try that out here. Some noodles, cucumbers, carrots, and a piece of chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those noodles are the perfect texture. It's not necessarily cold, but just kind of room temperature with those fresh cucumbers and carrots gives it a nice kind of crisp crunch. And that chicken is a really tender shredded chicken. The sauce is a little bit peanutty, almost like a little bit sesame flavor. Let's have another bite. Oh, those are awesome. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. So they actually also serve these with a little bag of some crushed peanut. I believe it's peanut. And I'll kind of put a little bit on there, sprinkle that on. Let's try that with the peanut. Oh man, I love the sauce that it comes in. Okay, let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. That just gives it a little bit extra kind of nutty, almost a little bit sweet. And this is the perfect thing to kind of cool down today. It is smoking hot here in Kaohsiung. These are awesome. So another way to beat the heat here in Kaohsiung is just to take the metro system. So it's called the KMRT, same as Taipei, very, very easy to use, clean and convenient. Uh, there's only a few lines, not as big as Taipei, so it's a little bit easier to. So we are going from here, Da Dong Station, and change at Formosa Boulevard, and then down to Sando Shopping District. So we just got to our station. We came here so that we could go to a very famous milk tea shop. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm super excited to try it out. So this is the milk tea shop right behind me here. This is a really iconic place here in Kaohsiung. It's called Lao Jiang, and it's been around since 1953. And apparently their milk tea is very old school, original style. So we just ordered up two, and let's try them out. So we've got our milk tea here. This place specializes in milk tea, but they also serve a lot of other things, and it's 24 hours. Is really cool, and I, I'm excited to try this out. So let's uh, let's dig into this. Mm. Oh wow! Oh, that's phenomenal. It's extremely creamy. It almost tastes like coffee, but it's not. It's just black tea with milk and they don't actually use ice in this tea because they don't want to water it down, which would kind of compromise the natural flavor of the tea. It almost has like a little bit of an earthiness to it. Mm. Oh man, 
It's super, super creamy. I don't know what kind of milk they're using, but that is absolutely delicious. So I think uh, we're gonna kind of head back to our Airbnb just for a little bit, and then probably go out and get some lunch later. We are off to lunch now. We are heading to a spot just down the street that is famous for Taiwanese spring rolls. It's called the third generation spring roll. Okay, we've got our Taiwanese spring roll here and uh, they put tons of different ingredients in this. And what makes this one unique is that they actually include Taiwanese sausage. So normally there isn't any sausage in here, but this is the first time I've ever actually seen that. So other ingredients I saw her put in were some bean sprouts, some lettuce, some shredded egg, all kinds of different things. It is just absolutely packed and then it's wrapped in these two layers of spring roll wrappers. So let's try this out. This looks really, really good. Mm. There is a lot going on in there. The very first thing that hits your tongue is that powdered sugar. So you can see that sugar right here. There is quite a lot of it. There is a ton of fresh bean sprouts. None of these vegetables are cooked whatsoever. They're just all fresh. So there's some cabbage. And then I also see there are some little pieces of pork in there as well. So it is a little bit sweet but really just fresh and crisp. I didn't get any of that Taiwanese sausage, so I'm gonna go in for another bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Got a piece of that Taiwanese sausage there, also a little bit sweet. Everything you're gonna have here in Southern Taiwan is, is nice and sweet. They like things sweet here. After living in Taiwan for some time, I've definitely grown to like uh, sweetness in my Taiwanese food. Okay, that was a really good lunch, quick stop, but this restaurant is really cool right on the side of the street and it's a very convenient location. You can see right here, this is the one of the most important stations in all of Kaohsiung, the exit, uh, Formosa Boulevard, exit one. So this is the interchange for the two main lines here in Kaohsiung, the orange and red line. So if you're ever in need of a quick uh, lunch, just head to Formosa Boulevard, exit one, and the three generation spring roll is right outside. So I think we are just gonna wait for some of the other spots we picked out to open up. Uh, they don't open up till night, so we're gonna kinda just hang out until those open up and then show you guys a couple more treats here in Kaohsiung. Okay, it's nighttime now, still very hot here in Kaohsiung, but we have come to Reifang Night Market. But uh, we're actually not going inside the night market just yet. There's a stall or a little restaurant that we want to try some douhua, which is silken tofu. So it should be just up here. So we're in line at the Silken Tofu shop. Really long line, super popular place, but seems to be moving pretty fast. So we should have our dessert pretty soon. Okay, we found a spot to sit down and try our dohua at. We're actually just on the side of the road sitting at a bus stop, but our dohua looks absolutely incredible. So the place we got it from is called Fu Zhongju, and the dohua looks absolutely incredible. They had so many different options, and you can see here we picked out uh, three different toppings. So I think that the regular is that you, you pick three different toppings. We went with the boba. This is a matcha tong yuan, which is sort of like a, a mochi that has been filled with probably sesame or peanut. And then also there's some red beans hiding in there. You can see one there. And then of course the silken tofu, big chunks of silken tofu, and then topped with a syrup, a light syrup. So let's just grab a big piece of tofu by itself first and just try that out. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. 
Oh, it's extremely soft. It really reminds me of soy milk. It's extremely smooth. Let's get another bite with uh, one of those tang yen, a boba, and some red beans. Let's try that. Mm. Oh yeah. It's really nice to have those red beans in there and the boba and tang yuan to kind of contrast the silky smooth tofu. Kind of gives it a chewiness from that tang yuan mochi and also those boba. And then the beans are almost like soft, almost pasty and a little bit sweet too. Yeah, that's really nice. Nice and cold and refreshing too. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sabrina's turn to try the doha. Yeah, I'm going in for a bite with the boba and the mochi balls and the tofu all together. So let's try it out. Mmm. Oh wow. That's a lot colder than I expected. Mmm, the flavors are great. It's light, but it's a great way to cool off. Okay, that dohua was really good. Super light and refreshing. I think we can definitely eat a few more things tonight. So we're gonna head back to Raifeng Night Market and get uh, another little snack today. We just ordered up a very interesting and unique drink that I love to have on a hot day here in Taiwan. This is called Ayu, and what it is is a fig that they soak in water. It's a special type of fig, and when they soak it in the water, it makes the water into this jelly. So as you can see, there is like pieces, chunks of jelly in there, and then I think it's just mixed with a little bit of water and maybe a little bit of sugar as well. So let me just try this out. And this is a really unique thing I've only ever seen in Taiwan. Mm. Oh, okay, so this version, they actually mix it with some lemon. There's a little bit of sugar too, so it's a little bit sour. The IU actually doesn't have much of a flavor, but it's really about the texture. It's almost like a jello. It's really interesting, unique, and it's super, super refreshing. Mm. Yeah, it's like a lemon tea almost with chunks. Okay, we've made it to our final destination today. We've come to have shaved ice, the ultimate refreshing cool down snack in Taiwan. So let's order one now. So this is what we're ordering right here, this strawberry shaved ice for 100 Taiwan dollars. Okay, we've got our bowl of strawberry shaved ice. They have all kinds of different flavors here. We want the strawberry and it looks really good, but it doesn't really look like the picture advertised. There's not nearly as many strawberries as I was hoping for, but that's okay. So you can see here there is some, these are kind of like mini strawberries and then it's topped with two scoops of strawberry ice cream or sorbet. And then it looks like maybe some sort of strawberry sauce and then condensed milk as well. So I'm just gonna get one of those strawberries, some shaved ice, and a little bit of condensed milk, and let's try that. Oh, oh wow. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Oh man, it's really sour. The strawberries are nice and sour, really fruity. And the shaved ice isn't quite like some of the shaved ice I've had before. Sometimes you get it and it's sort of in layers and it doesn't, it doesn't melt in your mouth as quick. But this stuff is really kind of like grainy and it melts right in your mouth extremely quick. Let's try another bite with a little bit of the strawberry ice cream and some shaved ice and another strawberry here. Okay, let's try that. Mm. Oh man. Oh. Sabrina's gonna love this. This place is called Popo Shaved Ice and it's extremely popular. It's super busy here tonight and it's late. So let's give this a try. Get a strawberry on there. This is gonna be good. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. That's delicious. Those strawberries are not frozen. They taste amazing and they taste super fresh. That's really good. 
finish off with our shaved ice. That was really easy to finish. The shaved ice here is absolutely incredible. I really love the strawberries. You could just taste that they were extremely fresh. And I think that's going to be it for today. Perfect way to end a hot day here in Kaohsiung with some shaved ice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We wanted to show you our favorite snacks for cooling down in Kaohsiung. And I think we did that. There's so many different cold treats you can have here in Taiwan. So I definitely recommend you try some of those places. We will leave all the links to the places that we went or all the addresses and everything you need to find them on your own here in Kaohsiung, Southern Taiwan. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We've got more videos coming from Taiwan. And if you haven't seen our previous videos, make sure you check them out. And yeah, give this video a big thumbs up and you enjoyed it. And leave me any questions you have down in the comment box and what is your favorite way to cool off on a hot day. So make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and we will see you very soon.